I straightened my hair and put it in the ponytail I had in one of my recent videos. I cannot remember which one it was, but um, I'll flash it like somewhere around here. Kind of like my volumized ponytail look, but without bobby pins or anything like that. It's just really simple, really quick, really easy. And my hair, this is um, my hair right after I blow dried it with a flat brush. So that's why it looks like more straight than it normally would. I'm just going to show you guys how I straighten my hair. Um, I know it's a pretty simple thing to do, but everyone does it, I think, a little bit differently. And my hair doesn't hold a straightening very well, but this is the way that I've found that it holds it the best. And the products that I use and everything to make sure my hair is protected and everything like that. So the first thing that I use every day when I get in the shower, before I blow dry my hair is my Aussie Heat Protecting Shine Spray. Um, I don't know how much I really like this one. I usually use the um, this one, the Suave Heat Protectant, which I like a bit better, but that one's running out. Um, so this one's okay. I like that it comes out kind of in a mist like a gun because um, it kind of gets more spots at once than like spraying all over. Um, so I use that and then halfway through blow drying my hair I use my Earl Essences Leave-In Long-term long relationships put in leave-in protector. This one, it's like a lotion. I really love it. It smells really great. And I just work that through the ends so that my ends aren't really dry or anything. So I'm just going to start straightening my hair. And um, I'm going to fast forward through this and probably also like cut a lot of stuff out. Because like straightening my hair can get pretty boring. And I'm sure you guys don't want to see that. But I'm going to voice over doing my hair. And then um, I'm going to voice over doing the ponytail too. Because it's kind of hard to like talk to the camera and do my hair at the same time. Because... Um, I'm not constantly looking forward. I'm going to be looking in the mirror a lot more than I would um, when I'm doing my makeup. My mirror is like right here, so it's more convenient. But so I'm just going to go right into straightening my hair. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, so I'm just starting off by um, sectioning off my hair. Um, you obviously don't have to do this step. I just think it's easier because you have less hair to deal with while you're straightening the other pieces. Um, but you can use obviously any clip to do that. I'm just going to brush through my hair to make sure there's no knots. You should always do that because obviously your hair is going to straighten a lot better if there's no knots in it. Um, by the way, the hair straightener I'm using is by Remington, just from like the CVS or whatever. Um, I just got kind of separate each side and then separate each section into two more sections. Um, any pieces that look like they're not straight, I just go over another time and then I grab all the pieces together and straighten them like that. And I just do the same thing to the other side. So um, I would section that into two pieces and then just kind of keep um, straightening it until it's straight. <laughs> um, if you have any pieces that are kind of really annoying and never straighten completely, um, just go over them more than once and until they feel like they're straight. There's really not much you can do about that unless you want to put oil in your hair or something. Um, I'm just going to keep straightening my whole hair, keep letting sections down, and keep doing the exact same thing until I'm done, and I will see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so now for the ponytail. Um, the two things you're going to need for this is obviously a hair tie and, most importantly, a teasing brush. Um, mine is just from Ulta, it's about $3. Um, so what you want to do for this, the most important part to get the volumized look, is just to tease all over your crown. Not even just your crown, but I kind of tease all over my roots, from my ears, like to, the, to from the one ear to the other ear. Um, I love a lot of volume, especially when you're using a ponytail, because ponytails can really like make your hair push down on top. So um, teasing it really will keep it up and keep your hair volumized and looking nice and thick and full and voluminous and everything. Um, I'm just pretty much teasing all over my entire head. You can do this as much as you like, even if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine too. But um, that's the whole point of the volumized look, I guess. Um, it's a lot easier than using bobby, bobby pins and it stays in a lot better. Um, my thin hair, it's really great to tease. I've been obsessed with it for the past couple of weeks. Um, once you're done teasing and you feel like you have enough volume like that, um, you just want to grab your hair up like you normally would. You definitely want to keep the part in. I feel like it keeps the volume a lot better. And you don't want to go all the way to the top of your head or too low. You just want to kind of go at the mid-back of your head um, until you kind of feel like that's how you like it. And you're going to want to like fix little pieces that are getting stuck or moving in a place you don't like. It's really just kind of like your preference, however you like your ponytail to look. Um, after putting it in, I just kind of hold the ponytail and push some pieces up to get them more volumized and pull some pieces down by the sides by my ears just to make it look a little bit more casual. You can always um, use hairspray if you want to keep it in better or if you want to slick it back and make it look a bit more professional, I guess. But I really like it the way it is and this is the completed look. I really hope you guys like it. This is one of my favorite looks and um, that's it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.